Hello everybody, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today I would like to talk about a very interesting topic in the QGIS. As you see, we have here over uh, 300 uh, PDF file, PDF maps here, and we would like to create such a maps with some simple configuration in the QGIS. As you see in the map, we have legend, logo, we have the table, we have some, you know, updated information, scale bar, and north arrow, and in, in the map, you see, uh, we have, you know, the parcel number are highlighted or in the yellow uh, uh, color, and if I just go to the you know the to some uh, to the next uh, PDF file or next map you see here the parcel number will be updated okay we have three here and with the specific information with the same order number so let's start and how, uh, how we can you know configure our QGIS to creating such a PDF file with the, this uh, over 300 PDF in with one click with the Atlas function in QGIS as you see here, we have our QGIS file I already added one map border, for example, here it's a, you see, you can uh, learn how to, you know, give the uh, colors or, uh, you know, different symbology in the uh, previous videos and you can just uh, watch it uh, with the, this, this color and you, you see here we have the parcel info and uh, here if i just uh, show feature count is uh, over 300 and here is the whole parcel in this uh, map if i just show you it's uh, over 20000 parcel but we would like to work here and uh, you see those information and if i just go to the properties and giving some uh, symbol single symbol with uh, another maybe color for example like this as you see, we have those uh, parcel inside this border. So what should we do? First of all, going to the project and the layout, I already created one layout and uh, here you can just uh, create a new pr print layout if you would like. And I'm going here to save the time because I already explained such a things in the, in the previous videos. You see with this icon add map, we can have this map and here you can add your, the logo from your uh, desktop if you have as a JPEG or PNG and you can add this uh, scale bar and north arrow here. So here we have the item properties and you see you can define the scale and some other information if you are interested to add the frame or some others, uh, some other uh, designing uh, option. So first of all, uh, let's start to add the legend here. If I just add it here, you see it will be here. So I would like, for example, to put it here. As you see, everything is okay. And after that, I would like to add one uh, table because in the PDF file that I've shown you, there is a, a, a table in it. So let's go to the attributes here here we um, for example i don't want to see uh, this one or here the attribute table must be you know from which layer for example this layer it's uh, from the this border but i would like to have it from the another one parcel uh, info and if i just go to the attribute right now for example you can just define uh, if i just click you see here we see uh, and if I just make it bigger, you have the more uh, table in it. But uh, if I just go here, for example, the shape lens is not interesting for me. And if I just, okay, it will be, you know, smaller. So, but right now we do not have any atlas and it's just the table has been added. And right now we will go to the atlas part. And here, this is very impor important, uh, generate an atlas and configuration, coverage layer, for example, from which layer you would like to create the atlas. And here, the page name, the orders, you know, here we have the, in the, uh, in the, our attribute table, if I just open our attribute table here, we have the parcel number, orders, price, shape lens, and shape area. And if I just go back again to the, uh, layout here we have the page name will be order here it will be added here according to the order and sorted by uh, orders okay even you can define according to the uh, other column and here the output is very important if i just uncheck this one i would like for example the output file name uh, expression for example you can have it 
uh, this uh, for example 376 pdf file separately and you can define for example uh, the first this expression first the order numbers and after that atlas page uh, name or you can just with this one you can have as i've shown you single fine export when it's possible and here is the image export format and you can have uh, the other option too so and after that the atlas is okay right now and here maybe just to explain what is this atlas page name is the function that returns the current atlas page name it is easy one and if you would like to have another expression you can just go here and define the, another expression by yourself here and i would like you know to as uh, i'm showing you in the uh first uh, map file this pdf file i would like to add for example the one text here with the map information and if i just could come to the map uh, item properties here you can write it down map information exactly and here we can you know insert or edit expression and if i just come i would like to have the first parcel number if i just come to the fields and value here i would like to have the parcel number uh, and uh, the orders and if i just using the uh, concatenating uh, operator and here the order if i if i just double click you see the uh, preview here is like this but it's it's somehow confusing and after that another this one and we can put you know some you know space or another if i just do it like this and putting a space here it will be some you know uh, the space between do uh, these two two uh, two values here and maybe you can just hit upon slash and it will be exactly what we need here and even you have this option to come here to make it for example bold or uh, for example bigger here you see and it will be updated according to your atlas so and if i go again to the table i would like to add in the price the uh, euros for example is per square meter is uh, for example 25 euros and it's easy if i just go to the attributes here and if i just come to the price here there is an option you can just uh, define and here the price will be again this uh, concatenation operator because we would like to join two values uh, into one string and uh, again we would like to have it one string uh, euro per square meter here and do not forget to put it in here and as you see again we would like to have one space another operator and here we can define and adding the space here so it's you see here in the pre preview you can have this uh, result and if i just okay here you know the heading will be updated all the time according to the attribute name and but we would we don't like to have this and just having the price and the result must be correct and you have it even this option you know in the heading you know changing uh, here the heading uh, name and here the price will be updated with the euro per square meter but the point is that right now our attribute table is not you know filter we would like you know to first of all in the filter uh, feature filtering you know maximum rows how many rows we would like to have it here and after that we would like to have it the, the filter here we will go to the filter and here we have this possibility and uh, to add the expression based filter and here you see we can just come to the recent the generic one and just take it and if i just okay the uh, here you know it will be updated according to the orders and atlas page name so we have just the orders here 99 here will be just visualized as a in, in the into the table need uh, not all of them as you see it will be reduced so it's a time to go to the uh, to the map the map will be updated according to the table here for example if we have this parcel number 81 101 603 671 will be you know in the uh, yellow color or highlighted in the map and it will be matched between the uh, 
uh, with the tables. We will go to the parcel info again, properties, and go into the symbology. And uh, instead of this symbol, we would like to define one rule base. And if I just go here, I would like to consider the filter exactly the same filter what we defined for that table. The orders is equal to atlas page name. And if I just OK, and we would like to have not this color and just take it as a yellow one. It's OK. And even we can here define the parcel order. And if I just OK, and here we would like to have the else. OK, with not this color. And we would like to consider this color. And if I just OK, you see these. And uh, those, you know, in the Atlas, we have those one activated and you see it's uh, here with the uh, yellow color into your map. And if I just go again to my Atlas here and if I just update my map, you know, it will be exactly the same. And you see here we have the four parcel number again with the same information here. And if I just come, we did making a little, you know, uh, better legend here for example this one is not important to me and even this one is not important to me and i would like to have it here legend exactly the, that pdf file that i shown you and uh, yes for example this one is our repetitive for example just right click and after that hidden so it means the result will be uh, like this and even for example if you are not interested about the numbers you can just uh, the feature count can be you know and this uh, deactivated and if i just save and you know maybe we can check how is our result right now if i just go to the one you see the order number is 10 and after that we have this parcel number and if i just come to the for example 13 here you know the order number is 11 and we have two parcel number we are somehow at the end and if we check everything it seems okay and we will go to the here uh, here we can just uh, here as you see it's for the uh, atlas and you know you can export the atlas as an image uh, svg or export atlas as a pdf and here you can just save your result uh, here for example here i would like to save it here and the result just save and you see it takes because it will be a lot of map here like uh, more than 300 maps and it takes maybe around two minutes three minutes to be done so we are done with this uh, map creation and if i just go to the uh, my folder here atlas qgis map result and you see we have over 159 elements and uh, here if i just click one of those pdf you see the result okay this is the order number in this order number we have such a, a parcel numbers because and this is the different prices and you know here even the map information is uh, correct because this is the one of those parcel number plus uh, the order number okay in this because you know we have uh, created a separated the pdf file and you know they just consider or the system just consider for this uh, order number all of them as a one pdf but if you would like to create all of them in a one single file you have over 300 one according exactly according to your parcel number but here it means we have just uh, maybe i can explain to you here we have just 159 uh, uh, unique uh, order number because of that the result is uh, like this and if i just come to the six and you see the order number is six is correct and taking one of those uh, parcel number from here and they are you know visible even inside the here you see the logo everything legend everything is okay and here we have the result inside the map i hope you enjoyed from this video it's very interesting and you can uh, even update or configure according to your project and if you have any question you can write it down in the comment section and we would like uh, to have your support uh, in from in to the this video and uh, please 
uh, subscribe our channel uh, for you know um, following our uh, future videos in the different playlists thank you again and see you soon bye